So you heard about Droplet and how much money people are making off this project, right? I'm gonna tell you exactly, step by step, how you can get started. Stay tuned. Drip is a rocket headed to Mars. Chico the barge. I went on my own cause we fell apart. The family is large, but those are the ones that leave you with scars and damage your heart. But from the cloud, I'm a drip god. I want the finer things. I want the finer things. Yo. What is good everybody s crypto 101 coming to you guys with another video today wait did i say right s crypto 101 coming to you guys with another video today and today we're talking about droplet we've been talking about droplet so much the past couple of weeks just because it's been fire this thing is a printer so we're gonna go ahead and get straight into it make sure you comment like subscribe make sure you hit that bell button to be notified as soon as these videos are released and what i'm gonna do is walk through some of the basics right i'm gonna show you exactly what you would do if you came in fresh you're not in the protocol at all what you can do to get started so let's go ahead and take a look so as we can see here we are sitting at six dollar and 52 cent droplet damn 1379 golden drip share price right now and that tvl just keeps rising just keeps rising just keeps going up we're at 2.4 million and it's crazy like people really don't understand and i didn't understand like one, this is based off of Tomb Finance. So Tomb Finance was the same protocol in a sense, you know, different tokens, things like that, different devs, of course, but it was on Phantom and it got a billion dollars TVL, one billion, one billion. This is at 2.4 million. Now, am I saying that this is gonna get to a billion? I mean, it might. We got the animal farm that's just a yield farm and that's sitting at 100 million plus. So if this thing is printing and doing what it's supposed to be doing, which is making people gains and burn a drip, if it continues to do that, I think that we could see this easily at at least 100 million. But let's get straight into it, right? I've already done like a breakdown video of the different tabs here. So I'm not really gonna go all into that. More so what I wanna show you is, hey, I heard about Droplet, I wanna get started, how do I do it? So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is you want to know what the price is for the two tokens here. So you have Golden Drip Share and you have Droplet. So what you're gonna wanna do is you wanna come here to the staking tab. Now what this is gonna do is show you all the liquidity that you can provide to start earning the Golden Drip Share token, which is this one right here. So there's four different options here for you. You have Lit BUSD, Lit WBNB, Lit Golden Drip Share, and Golden Drip Share BUSD. Now, a lot of people have different opinions on which is the best one to get into. I personally think that the best one to get into, the most stable one to get into, is Lit BUSD. The reason I say that is because if you look at BUSD, that is a stable coin. It's supposed to stay pegged to a dollar, so it should always be at a dollar. The Lit token. If you look at the chart, it's more so like this. It's a continuous upswing because the community knows that you should not sell lit. If you wanna take profit, you sell the golden drip share. So that means that the price of lit is more so gonna be like this. It might have its dips, but the golden drip share is definitely gonna be up and down a little bit more so it has more volatility. But that means that you are more subject to impermanent loss, but also more subject to impermanent gains. So you have to be careful. It's all about what you want your risk level to be. But I say that lit BUSD is the best. I know you'll come in here and look and say, man, but going drip share BUSD is paying out 6.73%. Now, if you're an APR hunter, then this is where you're gonna wanna go. But once again, you have to understand the volatility of the share token versus the lit token. And I think if you're getting in at first, it's always important to solidify a base, right? You want something that's not gonna be going up and down, up and down, up and down. You can more so implement risk into your strategy once you have a good base. So I say that lit BUSD is going to be your best bet. So all you have to do is create a liquidity pair. So we're gonna get straight into how to do that as well. All right, so we're over here on good old pancake swap where we're going to provide liquidity for the droplet protocol. So all you have to do is connect your wallet, of course. You're gonna come here to the trade tab. You are going to have to provide liquidity. So first you need to make sure that you have some lit or some golden drip share that is going to allow you to be able to create that liquidity pair. So anytime you create a liquidity pair, you need to have both assets in your wallet so that you can create that pair. So we're gonna go in here and trade. We're gonna buy some lit and then we're going to pair that up with some BUSD that we already have in the wallet. So if you look here, 
we have uh, some BNB, some cake. So what we're gonna do is, and what I always recommend to do is, is don't just type stuff in. If you want to be very, very sure and very, very secure, you always can come over here to the droplet protocol, come here to the docs, and you will actually have the droplet token here. Now I would be careful anytime that you're coming in here and just typing in tokens, it's gonna most likely pop up for me because I have Oh, I don't, I don't even have it here. So I will literally show you exactly what you can do. So you come here to the docs, it's gonna pull up the documentation here for the project, and there's gonna be a tab that is gonna show you the contracts. So you go here to contracts, you have the droplet token here. All you're gonna do is click that, copy it, and then you're gonna take it over here to PancakeSwap, and then you're going to paste that address here, and it is going to, or it should, pull up the lit token. Now it's being a little difficult here for some reason. Let's try to give it another chance before I snap on the lit token. Okay, this isn't really making a lot of sense. Maybe, ah, it's cause I had the space. See, everybody makes mistakes. So what we're gonna do now is import this. I understand that I'm taking all this risk and what we're gonna do is buy some lit tokens. So let's see, how many lit tokens should we get? We're gonna go ahead and get 10. So that's gonna be $65 worth of lit and then we're going to swap this. Now, if I remember correctly, I believe that there is a, oh, okay. I thought there was a tax on this. That's gonna give us our lit, and then we're gonna come over here. We're going to provide liquidity. And then what you'll see is, it's probably already here for me just because I've been providing liquidity for it as well. So you see lit BUSD. So what you're gonna do is you're going to, if it's not there for you, all you have to do is find other LP tokens. And then what you're going to be able to do is you come here, you say, I want BUSD. You say that I want to use the lit tokens I just bought, as you can see, added by user. And it did take out a little bit tax. As you saw, I bought 10, but I only have 9.8. And then what it's going to do is show this. And then now you can manage this pair. It's going to pop up here. And then all you have to do is add liquidity. And then you are going to be able to put max or however much that you want to do pair it up with the equal amount of busd and then you're going to supply this now we're going to go ahead and let this confirm do all the stuff we need to on the back end and then we're gucci so now we have created a liquidity pair out of the busd and the lit token so now we're going to come back over here to the droplet protocol we're going to go to the pool that we created the liquidity pair for we're gonna to go to this. You're most likely gonna to have to approve it if you haven't already staked anything. But as you can see, I'm already in all these pools. So I don't have to approve nothing. So all I have to do is come here and I'm gonna let this load up. See, it's, it's making so many gains that it just takes it a minute to load up, right? It's, it's loading up all this money we're making. So sometimes it just takes a little bit, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and hit this plus sign. As you can see, I have 23.4 liquidity tokens available and I'm going to go ahead and stake those. We're gonna do the magic over here. Let this all confirm and we will let this work. Boom, okay, we're back here. So as you can see, this doubled. So now we have $281 worth of lit USD staked here. The golden drip share I had was claimed to my wallet. So anytime you deposit or you withdraw any kind of liquidity tokens, it's going to take this and put it in your wallet. So make sure you know that. So then what you would do is once you have earned a good amount of golden drip share tokens, you're gonna come over here to the boardroom and you're going to stake these. So as you can see, I have quite a bit staked. So all you do is stake it and then it's going to earn you lit tokens. So I'm er earning 7.46%. So right now this is the highest paying pool in the actual ecosystem. So there's gonna be a lot of golden drip that wants to be put here because we're earning 7.46 a day, a day. That's ridiculous. So you have to make sure you understand, like I've talked about in previous videos, how this works in terms of epochs. So as you can see, I can claim in 10 hours and 32 minutes, and I would be able to withdraw in 16 hours and 32 minutes. So just make sure you understand and that you try to loop all your stuff together, because if you claim, it is going to reset all your timers. If you stake, it's going to reset all your timers. So if I went in here and I staked more, GDS, it is going to reset my timer to claim. So if I wanted to claim and I went in here and staked first, I'm screwed because I have to wait another 24 hours, I believe, before I can claim. 
So make sure you understand that. Make sure that if you want to pull all your money out, that you wait until this time is done and then you take all your money out and then you'll have your lit in your wallet as well. But if you want to take this out, you can't just come here, claim rewards and then try to take this out afterwards. It doesn't work like that because then you're going to have to wait the additional time for that withdrawal. So make sure you just understand that, that these are on different time periods. So I believe this is 24 and then this is 30 hours. So that's really the next play, right? You already saw how to get your lit BUSD. We provided in liquidity pool. We started earning golden drip share. Then we took our golden drip share and we staked it here. And now we're earning even more lit. Now the key play is if you're smart about it, what you'll do is, is you'll take profit on some of the golden drip share that you are getting out of the liquidity farm. Now I tell people, you know, do your own thing. But what I do is if the chart for the golden drip share is at a high, I take a 20% profit off of what I've taken, what I've earned. So if I earned a hundred golden drip, hundred dollars worth of golden drip share at that point, I would take $20 worth and put that in my wallet. And then the rest I'm going to put either in the boardroom or pair up for more liquidity to earn more golden drip share. If it's at the bottom of the chart and we're kind of like at a, at a bottom, then I'm going to only take 10% because I want to help the ecosystem. I'm not going to sit there and claim when it's low. I'm going to put more back into the system so I can continue to compound my earnings. So what you would do is you would take the lit that you earn from the boardroom and then you would pair it up with some of the golden drip share that you're getting from these liquidity pools and then you continue to compound that now that's literally what i did here in this pool twenty two hundred dollars worth of liquidity just from me doing that this this i didn't provide this liquidity this is not fresh capital this is all lit from the boardroom as well as golden drip share from providing liquidity so this shows you the power of what you can do and how you can really really build your position in here and that's what a lot of people have been able to do over the past couple of days. So definitely don't sleep on that. But really just wanted to walk through some of the basics more so, hey, you learned about Droplet. You want to get started. You want to create liquidity, start staking it. What do you do? So that's what this video showed you. Make sure that you comment, like, subscribe. We have a lot more content coming for Droplet. This thing is printing. This thing is making people hundreds thousands of dollars a day. So do not sleep on this one. This thing is a printer literally printer no facts printer right so make sure you comment like subscribe hit that bell button so you're notified as soon as these videos are released make sure you check out all the social media we have tiktok we have twitter we have youtube we got instagram all at s crypto 101 some great content on there that doesn't always make it to the videos and as always we're going to continue to let the devs over here dev it out pressure p everybody that's involved with this i appreciate you and we're going to do what we do best and that is build the bag